Hey everybody, Coach Beth here with your progression at home rev workout for Thursday. How is everybody doing so far this week? I hope you are super well. Can't wait till the time when I get to see you again. Until then, I hope you enjoy these at home workouts. Okay, um, warming up today, what we're going to do is 10 Samson, uh, Samson step stretch and then I want you to add in a twist or a reach with that. I'll show you in just a second. 10 plank up downs, 20 low impact heel to butt. I'll show you that. You're gonna grab your foot and then step down. So we're gonna work core and balance with that. Then 20 heel, uh, knee huggers, and then 40 butt kickers and 40 high knees. So we're gonna work our way up in intensity. By the time you're through that, you should be pretty well ready to go. Uh, you may need to walk or jog at a slow intensity before you get into this workout because um, so you're going to go back to that walk or jog. When... Alright Vincent, here's your warm up for Thursday. We start with 10 Samson stretches in your lunge position. Squeeze here, lean away, drop opposite hand to opposite knee, twist, and then you're going to lunge step on, lean, opposite hand, opposite knee, and keep going that way. Then. 10 plank up downs. Find your good strong plank position. Drop to your elbows, push back up to your palms. Up next, we're gonna do 20 heels to butt, but not butt kickers. So I'm going to grab, give it a stretch, and release. If you can't grab, which I'm losing my balance doing that too, you can just fire that hamstring, hold the heel there for a second. Okay, and then after that, 20 knee hugs. Pull that knee to your chest. And then finally, 40 high knees and 40 butt kickers. All right. Those are the movements for that. So you're gonna go back to that walker jog when you get to the workout. So part A today is accumulate three minutes of hanging. If you have any kind of door jam or rafter in your garage or pull up bar that you can dead hang or active hang from, I want you to accumulate three minutes of hanging and work that grip strength. If you don't have something to hang from, then we're gonna carry and work grip strength that way. So a farmer carry, a suitcase carry, a pinch carry, if you have five gallon buckets or milk jugs or laundry detergent or whatever it is, get something in your hands, make yourself hold on to it and carry for accumulating four minutes of carrying. All right, um, just to give you a quick idea, I don't have a pull-up bar right here, but I would grab my kettlebells and try to hold on, shoulders packed, core engaged, and just take a walk right off of the screen for four minutes, breaking as little as possible with that carry. Then rewarm by doing a slow jog or walk for five minutes or so, and your workout is 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. You know yourself, and I am not face to face with you, so I can't say, no, you really shouldn't do 30 minutes, you should stick to 20, or maybe you should even do 15. You gotta know yourself on that, but it's 20 to 30 minutes of cardio breaking every two minutes to do three push-ups and three burpees. Don't stop your clock while you're doing that. Just So we don't start with push-ups and burpees. Just start with a nice easy jog or bike ride or row if you have a rower at home. Stationary bike is fine, whatever you got. Start three minutes. When your clock says three minutes, break. Do three push-ups and three burpees. Then when your clock gets to six minutes, break again. So I don't want you stop starting and stopping and starting and stopping and making this workout drag out way past 30 minutes. When the clock hits 30 minutes, you're done. Unless of course you just have to squeeze in one more set of push-ups and burpees. Um, but no longer than 30 minutes, please. Uh, that should be a fun one. I actually really like doing my cardio and strength combo that way because if you're doing it right, it almost doesn't feel like you've accum accumulated as many push-ups as you have by the end or as many burpees. All right, and then cool down today is gonna be go back to your walking. 
And this time, while you walk for five minutes or so, every minute, I want you to stop and do, you can do the stretch of your choice. If post march works for you, that's fine. Or stop, point this heel at the ceiling, square up your hips, and reach for that toe, stretch your calf a little bit, switch sides, and then go on with your walk. So just stop, see how it feels. Another one I really like to do after running is this one where I swing this leg behind, reach up, and now I'm gonna hand and reach for the back ankle. When I do this, I'm sticking my butt up to the side and I feel a stretch in my TFL here. And I can get a little quadratus lumborum, quadratus lumborum, I always say it wrong. <laughs> anyway, the idea is take that cool down walk and stop and stretch every minute. And have an awesome remainder of your day. Any kind of cardio will do. As always, reach out to me if you have questions. I'm here, I'm here for you, I love coaching you. So don't feel like you're burdening me if you send me a message. All right, gang, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.